What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve a problem involving Bios Albert Law. The problem reads, Find the field at the center of a regular n-sided polygon carrying a steady current I. Again, let R be the distance from the center to any side. Okay, now in order to do this, let's say we have a hexagon. So a hexagon has six sides, like this. Okay, so these sides correspond one segment. So let's say we choose one segment. Okay, so this line segments is R away from the center. So in this case, if this is our center, so this is our R. Okay, so we can now draw our angles. So let's say this is your theta 2 and this is your theta 1. So we know that for each segment, the magnetic field is given by mu naught i over 4 pi r. This r is the distance from your point that you want to calculate your magnetic field. Mu naught is your permeability of free space and I is the current on the line segment. And this is multiplied to sine theta 2 minus sine theta 1. Now if we're going to look at this, because of symmetry, we see that the direction theta 1 is actually the opposite the direction of theta 2 but they have equal in magnitude. And by geometry, each theta is actually equal to pi over n. You can verify it using your geometry, where n is your number of sides. Okay, so using this relationship between theta 1 and theta 2, we can now rewrite this magnetic field at the center to be equal to mu naught i over 4 pi r times sine theta 2 plus sine negative theta 1. So this is equal to 2 sine theta 2. And theta 2 Or theta 1, sorry. So this should be, yeah, this is theta 2. Okay. So this is now equal to mu naught i over 4 pi r times 2 sine theta 2. And theta 2 is pi over 2. Remember that this negative is only just the direction of your angle. But the amount of angle would still be pi over n. So therefore, this is now equal to mu naught i over, four, uh, over 2 pi and add to pi r times sine pi over n. So this is for each segment. So for all segments, we just multiply it by n. So therefore, the answer is n mu naught i over 
2 pi r times sine pi over n. So this is now the field at the center of any regular n-sided polycon carrying a steady, uh, steady state current of, of i and r is the distance of each segment to the center of the site. Now, for letter C, now let's check the formula or the equation and let's see if it reduces to the field at the center of a circular, a circular loop wherein we set that the limit is n approaches to infinity. So, if n approaches infinity, so that means the segment becomes, uh, this uh, uh, n-sided polygon becomes a circle. So that means as n approaches infinity, theta becomes very small. In fact, it's infinitesimal small that we can use this usual small angle approximation wherein sine theta is approximately equal to theta. So that means the magnetic field will now be uh, reduced to n u naught i over 2 pi r times pi over n which is so n cancels with n so we now reduce to oh sorry n 2 pi uh, pi is cancelled with pi right so this now reduced to u naught i over 2r right so that's the magnetic field at the center of a circular loop so this verifies this limit easy right very easy so that's all for now it's your task to answer letter a and then uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye bye